see the wind? Is it natural wind or is it from the waterfall? And stay with the view. <laughs> Probably gonna sleep out here, even though there is a bed in a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Got some fruits, some bananas from the land. Morning. Look up to this. Just busy making up our bed from last night, which was just sleeping on. We opted for the mat. It's been a cold drive, so we spotted this little interesting spot. Chris is busy ordering tea. with his tea. On the way to another pizza. The energy here is crazy. that good? We can hear the water and we can see the sea. Wow. Welcome to the miracle of Pondia. Oh my gosh. I heard this sound and I thought it was a manual machine of some sort. Danger zone, do not enter, it says. Uh, hot. It smells like. It smells like boiled eggs. It smells like boiled eggs. This is really boiled eggs. Give it a test. Can we put our cozies on here? Yeah. I love you, Felon. This is the non 100% natural. There's pools filled up over there. Wow. Doesn't look hot, but it's potently hot. Not just an ordinary river. Look at this little natural jacuzzi. Adding a little exfoliation treatment to the mix. <laughs> Must be such high mineral content. It's nearly 10 a.m. Supposedly open since eight, so two hours, and there's literally no one here. Unbelievable. Private resort once again booked out for you, Miami. immersion in the fast flowing river and now we're taking a stroll to this beautiful environment to the, the real natural pools, hot pools. 
So there's our, our hut, which that looks one? like this, but in the middle, these two. <laughs> the most beautiful views of the jungle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to pay yeah. 300 baht each, each to get in just to use the hot pools for a few hours. And look at the geese, huh? And then we found out they had accommodation. They initially wanted to charge what, Chris? 2,000 baht. Chris managed to negotiate to, to get one, them down to 1,4. One 1,4 four. One four because it's the week, not the weekend. So even if we wanted to come back tomorrow, we'd have to pay another, another 600. 600. So it would be 1,200. And we'd anyway have to rent a room tonight. Yes, so we're so, basically paying like 200 baht for the, for the room. For the room. And we get to use this as much as we want. And there's no one here. There's no one here. What? Only nature could design such perfection. perfection. How does this exist? How does this exist? Natural hot tub? Natural hot tub, that's what Amy's saying there. Steam like a mix between a sauna, a steam room, a rushing river energy, a massage, natural warm jacuzzi. What more could we ask for? <laughs> this is looking at me strangely because I never normally do stuff spontaneously like this. I'm just feeling so inspired to capture the essence of what I'm feeling here. And I was just asking Chris about the word inspire because it's got the word spur in it which is spirit respiration which is breath inspiration all meaning kind of the breath of life <sighs> how did we get here the intention was to find something in nature that's quiet not a lot of people not touristy and always with good energy and along our route we stopped at this amazing hot spring then we found out that there's accommodation here and so here we are surrounded by the most majestic forest. It's just been such a reminder to just let go of the control and trust and flow and be open to receiving. What we're trying to adopt more and more is just expecting the best. Discover what truly fills you up, what truly fulfills your being and then do more of that because the more you do of it, the more you attract. It's like it's really been such a message along this journey and in the same breath, the more simple the desires are, the less you need to feel fulfilled. And so for us, it comes down to, as I've said before, nature, quiet spaces, good energy, fresh, abundant fruit. And so to go to the fruit, we just took a drive, maybe 15 minutes down the road. Searching for fruit, here's some bananas, some MSG. Rambutan peel on the road, so we took that as a sign to continue on looking for Rambutan. Chris spotted some along. So I think this is about as much as we're gonna get. So it's difficult to find fresh fruit in this town. We spotted some bananas, maybe some avos. Ha! It's avos! Yay! <laughs> Bananas. Now we're talking. Look at these big pomelos. Chris and I made a joke, but realistically, this could be the only thing we end up buying to take back to Bali. We better buy it at the end of the trip, Amy, not the beginning. Because it is so difficult to find just a simple broom made from natural materials that functions well and that's not plastic and brightly colored. You can practice. And although there wasn't much fruit available at all, we managed to find enough because you don't need much. These bananas, which weren't even for sale, they were sitting outside someone's house. I think that was his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but we just asked them. In a shop, you think these are totally rotten, but honestly, probably the best banana we've, we've, had, mm, we've had so far in Thailand. Thailand. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. Perfectly ripe. So sweet. Where we got we that? Got gifted. Met an amazing Thai woman in Pai. A Thai from Pai. A Thai from mm. Pai. Egg fruit or canister. Mm. Thai version. This is quite a small one. We had a big one yesterday. But what she told us, which is interesting, is that the fruit opens when it's ready to be eaten. So that's how you tell when it's ripe. So canister. 
or egg fruit. <laughs> and the reason it's called egg fruit is because the texture doesn't taste like egg, but the texture is like the yellow of a hard boiled egg. And the taste, how would you describe the taste, Chris? Sweet. And then it tastes like the yeah. fruit. <laughs> like the fruit. Like egg fruit. I spent some time on our shower floor <laughs> preparing some pomelo preparing some pomelo because it was raining then and I needed a place to mess. <laughs> I it's a messy affair. And it's raining outside. Only a fruitarian would understand. And now we're gonna have a little evening siesta. So this is the first class um, hot tub. Give this hot tub a try with a view. Yeah. Hot. and ready for our camping adventure. New addition, one new addition. What's in the box? Durian. <laughs> We're hoping to eat a durian here, but it's not ripe yet, so it's coming with us to the jungle. Let's go. So we in the middle of nowhere. So maybe this is where we'll be camping tonight because we've just realized We've got a flat tire, so we've just stopped this guy to ask for help. And Chris has just spotted a pomelo tree. Maybe we should just camp here for the night. We've got some food on the trees. So these angels are helping us. Fortunately, every person owns a, a bucky here. So they're going to take us to the nearest town. And look at the number it says 111. Always looked after. At least we still got our durian in the box and your helmet on. So it looks like a good old screw. All the special signs. Mm. Winding through the jungle, we haven't seen a single car pass us. Jungle sounds and trees. We've arrived at our first campsite. Nobody else here. Da -da -da -dum. First time setting up our tent. Voila! Literally took us three minutes. <laughs> we basically just have a blanket to sleep with. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it feels to sleep on the ground. Nice. What do you think? Yeah, this is perfect. This is being how we are minimalist. No pillow, no blanket, no mattress. <laughs> Essentialist. Essentialist. Any of these things. So you could only really pick one fruit for camping because of traveling lightweight on a scooter. And so White Dragons was our choice. It fills hydration and fiber and sugars and sweetness. Coconuts are too big. Dragon fruits tick all the boxes. Documenting us, I feel like I'm in a Play Witch project. This is how it started. Oh my god, you don't bring that up now. <laughs> Surrounded by all these trees, just us alone. <laughs> First night in our tent in Thailand, in what's this area called? Binhang Tinghua 
Lampum, I think. Lampum. We're glad we got the 3C pretend. Mm, it's best for our bag and our durian. <laughs> Wouldn't have left our durian outside. Chris would have had to sleep outside in that case. A nice little morning stream walk. Steamy morning hot spring or geyser. Walking down and as I said, uh, Amy, I don't have your pen, so you can't diary. Back to journal in the morning. Yeah. And then, on this path behind us, there we found a little pen. <laughs> the universe always provides every time. You just gotta pay attention. Let's just see if it works. We'll let it you does. know. Look. Oh, did you? Oh, there. <laughs> Sorry for the close up, we just woke up. Crystal clear, but boiling hot, hence no swimming. We found our own little private shala here. Chris is just cleaning it for us. Even have a hook, an essential, and there's even a little stream flowing here for us to listen to. Wow. Sign the front saying no fishing. Never have we before seen so many fish at the bottom of a waterfall. So we're still going three more points. This is number three, number two, and there was the number one that we were at the bottom there. 180 meter high waterfall together. Now this would be thrilling down here on a super tube, hey? Zoops! With a fly at the end. Boom! We're only at number four. Can you believe it? Look at this unique guy. Wow! Is it a scorpion? Is it an ant? Is it a prey mantis? <laughs> Finally reached number six. Not as big as the rest, but still super impressive. All 180 meters of four. Amy's trying to see if she can find a house for the night. <laughs> Under this majestic tree. Came across this little guy, literally on crossing our path. Luckily there's a little butterfly that made me pause. What does he see? He's got his tongue out. Have you any fins just now? Using their resources wisely, the hydro pump in there, and then supplying power to their grid. How awesome is that? There should be more of this. What was it? Having our daily bathing session. <laughs> All this water coming from the waterfall we were at earlier. So we've patiently been awaiting to open this durian. It's even come on our road trip on our scooter with us. And today's the day. Oh, celebrating. <laughs> I think we're just so scared to open this prematurely. But Chris is doing the push test. That's as big as a push. We'll eat at home, so... Yeah. <laughs> so it's been pretty disappointing. Majority of it's been hard and a little bit tasteless. <laughs> last this? part for the best. <laughs> best for last. Okay, that's a relief. Hey, okay, Chris. Here we come, Bali. Since our durian was such a letdown and we didn't have any other fruit, we spotted these pumpkins growing on the roof of the restaurant. So we're coming to fetch our steamed pumpkin. Curious to know how it turns out with the language barrier. Let's see. Are you a final color of the internet? Ah, I walk back 
to a temporary home through the waterway. So nice. And then we arrived back at our tent with nice clean feet. <laughs> There's our home. Such a delicious fresh pumpkin picked from their garden. Dinner is served. <laughs> 6.30 in the morning. We had a very rainy cold night in our tent, but luckily we have these hot baths to come to. We look this luxury all by ourselves, all for 30 rand a day. Unbelievable. So we've come from an area where there's literally no fruit and Chris just spotted this persimmon tree along our route. The stick's got a bit of a fork on it, so we're gonna try grip it and pull it. <laughs> Team effort, we managed to get this branch down. This is so exciting. Some of them aren't ripe, but this one looks perfectly tree ripe and wow. Delicious. Mmm, softest one we've had. Like <laughs> tree. Oh. Thank you for this whole tree. Pretty random, but we spotted this lady sorting through her persimmons on the side of the road. These are the rejects. She's charging us one baht per persimmon. They've just been picked from a tree over there. They're not rejects because they taste, just because they were bruised or had a ton of some section. So you get like 90% of the fruit, but they're delicious. We couldn't have asked for a better situation. Hey, Chris. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> This awesome little town and we spotted this unique camping site alongside the river. told us we can get somewhere around here. Orange flowers leading us to the orange persimmon. Trees are dripping in fruit and we just found this one that's super soft, like jam. Look at that skin coming off. Oh my gosh, this is tree ripened. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, let me get stuck in the yes, tea. That is like marmalade. Oh my gosh. So we spoke to them at the top and couldn't have asked for a better situation. We paid them 50 baht and we get to pick two and a half kilos. Chris found a nifty little bamboo stick. So we quite like eating them like this. Super soft. Look at this. So gooey. The locals eat it differently. This is how they sell it. Super hard. And they like it like an apple. It's still sweet though, but sometimes a bit too starchy for us. So after camping for a few nights, we just needed to check into a budget hotel in Chiang Mai to just do some washing and also dry our tent. And if you can see our tent sign over there, two balconies with sun to hang our washing <laughs> and then my best part I couldn't have even dreamt that a hotel would have a basin this size to do all of my washing okay decision made we had a flight book to the south but we just decided we both woke up this morning with like a funny feeling about it and so we decided to we're gonna go north of Bangkok five hours to a jungle retreat center and we're gonna take it from there let's see it's feeling good so we just took the train out of the airport instead of our connecting flight because we changed our mind. Some airport view for traveling. So nice and cold and fresh. <laughs> so here we are sitting on the floor in the observation, what they call it, observation deck. No one's observing much. So yeah, an amazing five weeks of adventure in northern Thailand. We're feeling ready to go. Okay, wait. calling us. So we're still in Bangkok, but now we're at the airport. Impromptu change 
while we were flying from Chiang Mai to the south via Bangkok. Amongst many factors, we decided not to continue through to the south for the remaining two and a half weeks. Tough decision. Yeah, we deliberated for about a day ish going into the flight. And we only really decided when we were at, in, the, airport. at the airport in Bangkok. So we didn't catch our connecting flight. We haven't heard anything bad about the plane, so I'm glad everything's fine because you hear those stories of people saying oh I didn't feel like taking the flight and then something and bad happened on the hit list. <laughs> so um, we are flying out back to Bali we tired 24 hours in Bangkok has taken it takes a toll take a toll on us looking forward to getting home hopefully there's an empty flight three seats each yeah. it's a poor man's business class it's an empty plane <laughs> Bali will come VIP treatment at the airport. <laughs> Welcome by Balinese family. It's 3 30 in the morning and we're just arriving home. <laughs> Let's go see. Welcome home. Who's living in here? <laughs> This morning waking up back on our land. Wow. It's so green. Look who else has made a home while we've been away. It's gonna be such a fresh and see the life from standing here. Are you quite comfortable there? This is not your home. <laughs> 